All right, we're doing a safety compliant cage here. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to work in that cage like that. Stick your head in there. Stick my head in there with that grinder and bend over. Act like I know what I'm doing. Act like you know what you're doing. What if I don't know what I'm doing? I can hold the camera right here with a, for a better angle. Well, there's your camera right there. I need a grinder. You're cutting into the... Well, yeah, the main bracket was too far closed, too, wasn't it? <laughs> Are you saying you're cutting too deep? No. no. <laughs> that me. never happened. Not me. You're my way, Fred. Okay, go on the other side. Going both ways around here. Equal opportunity. Just take that out of the way. Which way is this one going to go? It's going to go all over the place. This one's going to hit me. I'm going to put a board above it. Board above what? Me? No. Cutting into the shock? Screwdriver. Hey, if the shock wasn't in the way when I got cut. <laughs> no, I need a big one. Tool bucket. Big in. Big snap on. Just the crap in the way. Go the other side. <laughs> Slight custom. Uh... Red, it's warm. I was gonna say, you think that would be hot? I know, is it hot? Nice, big old piece cup. That was warm. Amen. No more rubbing there. Not deburred. This one is deburred. We're gonna grind this well all the way too, so I won't hit on that. Just to yep. make sure it's the out of the way. That's the right one. The Here you go. I'm in the way. I'm in the way. I'm in the way, Fred. I'm in the way again. Yep. Why am I in the way again? Always.
I need some Buell Disco paint to touch that up, right? Yeah, there's a black can over somewhere. <laughs> no, actually, there's a can underneath the behind the rack up front. What? It's called titanium. Titanium? Okay. Yeah, I bought a can, a couple cans a few years ago, and it's in my bike. Will this fit in there without doing anything important? Yep. <laughs> Make short work of welders. I'm going to have good access in there, so I have to come around the other side now. We're grinding on the tip of my grinder, not what you're supposed to. See, I have really good control of what I'm grinding with this grinder. Away, the belt's out of the way. Hmm. All right, Fred took the camera off while I was working. Okay, we ground this back a little bit. I got to clean up a little bit of my other grinder. And still got to deburr a little bit out of this to clean that all up so it's nice and burr free. Making this as flush as we can. It appears there's a hump right here, which I can pound in with a big ass hammer. That dude will probably hit on that anyway, so yeah, it's definitely not even. Actually, flat spot right here. All right, back again. Battery died. <sighs> okay, so here's all my trash here. So I got to ground that back with my grinder a little bit. Did a little detail work there and knocked off some burrs. It's flat. Now this part of the swing arm is actually sticking out a little bit right through here. So we can knock that back a little bit. I ground this back slightly, but it's still gonna hit here first, I think. I'm gonna knock this back here just to make sure it's not gonna hit. So we have the appropriate adjustment tool right here. So we're gonna give it some adjusting. That's what they make adjuster tools for, to do fine tuning work. <clears throat> the hard part is don't hit your hands on the frame as you're adjusting. Still not very flat, but it's adjusted. So now, this is a recessed end now for more clearance. And I can grind this back here a little bit more to weaken it some more. Give some more clearance right there too at the same time. So I'm gonna try that. The big grinder again. Uh, put this down here. Stop some 
amount of grinding there. Don't be grinding and getting sparks on your rug. You might cut it, catch a fire. Fires are not going to be a good thing to have around here. Too. Only my right eye though. She's digging in hard. Bad angles. So it's all pretty rounded in here now. No more flat spot through there. This is all dimpling pretty good through here. 
It's all deburred, so if the tire rubs on this, it won't just dig into the edge and shave the tire off. It's going to rub on it. It's going to have to rub the tire off. You won't cut it off. All right. Oh, I did nick it right there. I got another nick right there. The only place I missed. Right there. One bounce. Everything else looks good. So hopefully that will clear. So I can put the tire back up in here and find out. All right. I'm going to clear all this junk up. We'll be back.